What's up? I'm gonna be vlogging about my journey through ketosis. It's, it's been about 20 hours plus. I think it's about 26 hours now. Um, so I'm gonna start off with a three days fast. Um, and then I'm going to slip right into ketosis and hopefully I kick up my fat intake and lower my protein and carb intake. Um, I've done three day fast before, so the first stage is not that big of a deal, but I am kind of hungry right now because I'm in the midst of moving places and I got to do everything by myself for now until my wife and baby and family, my in-laws show up on the weekend. Everything will be done by then, but for now, I'm kind of starving very much, and I'm trying to fight through it, and I know I can do it because I've done it before, and once you've done it before, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the whole point, I'm the, whole, the reason why I'm doing ketogenic diet is because I'm looking to lose my body fat percentage that I gained since I've been in Korea for nine years. I came in, I think, around 12 or 15% body fat, I'm at 22% body fat right now. A lot of people tell me that, how is that possible? Where is your fat stored? Um, yeah, I exercise a lot, but I have a big sweet tooth and the craving for sugar is at an all time high right now. And I've been making all these nice goodies and treats and um, to feed my cravings and they're all healthy, but it still contains a lot of sugar, a high, high content of carbs. Um, no added sugar, but still maple syrup and dark chocolate chip. Still good for you, but I'm eating it at an excess an, at an excess amount more than I need to. So one thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be counting my macros while I do this ketogenic diet. And I'm going to make sure that I get um, enough, the right amount of macros that my body needs. Um, so there's a macronutrient cal uh, calculator that you can use online anywhere talk to a professional people that have done it before um, they'll give you advice on how to calculate the amount of nutrients macronutrients you need um, so yeah one thing I'll be doing is that and second is I want to be eating a lot of fat coconut baby my favorite my go-to um, there's still a lot of other good healthy fats out there I'm gonna to be topping up a lot of olive oil and everything that I eat um, There'll be a lot of fish, a lot of dark meat. Um, avocados are one of my favorites as well. Avocados and coconut are my two all-time uh, favorite things to eat. Ask anyone in my school, they'll see me carrying a ball of coconut or a slice or sorry, a sliced avocado in a container. It's it's with me at all times, um, and I I'm looking forward to eating more of it now that I can. Um, but yeah, those are, those are the two things I'll be doing. Um, intermittent fasting is the last thing that I'll be doing as well, which I've, I've done periodically. In fact, I should do, actually I do that almost every time. Um, my window of eating will, will be uh, between um, six, between eight hours, within eight hours. So for 16 hours, every day I'll be fasting. Um, my first meal will be around lunchtime and I won't, and now I'll have my last meal around dinner time. Hopefully it's at 8 o'clock. So that's that 16 hour break right there in the 8 hour eating period. So those three things are going to hopefully get me to lose weight. And sorry, the last thing will be exercise for sure. Which is something that's automatic in my repertoire. I do it almost every day. So I'm really looking forward to this journey. And I want to get back to what I used to be. Super fit. Back down to 12 to 15% body fat. And I know there's lots of people out there that are looking to do ketosis who have already done it and a couple of my friends who are doing it right now or trying to do it still and some actually at the school. Um, if we can stick together and we can, we can push through it. Um, the first three days they say are the hardest when you are not eating and I think once you pass that stage you'll definitely feel much better. I've already had mental clarity. Um, I feel way more alert than I've ever had, way more energy. I don't feel as lethargic due to no carbs, no sugar. Um, like the body, the body needs clean fuel, and fat is the clean, cleaner fuel than sugar. So, go for it. Um, one thing I'll also be doing is I'm going to be meal prepping. 
and that's gonna help me a lot busy schedule coming up um, I'll cut down on the cooking hours and I'll be ready to eat everything that's prepared for in advance so I don't have to waste time on measuring and weighing stuff so um, the journey begins or sorry the journey began yesterday with my first full hour or my first full day of fasting it's been 26 plus or sorry, almost 30 hours now um, still got another two days to go before I, my ketones kick in and I've ordered two books I have two ketogenic diet books I'm gonna learn a little bit more about it more on uh, diet plans and ketogenic strips to make sure that I'm always in ketosis when I'm doing it and and that's about it so I hope this continues for the next month and I hope there's a bigger community or group out there that's that's there to support me and in my journey wish me all the best